Have you ever wondered how the man who drives a snowplow drives to the snowplow? This one drives a Volkswagen. So you can stop wondering. And now the star of the 1949 Auto Show. The car of the future. The car the public wants. The all-new DeSoto. The long skirts will be the next look on the fashion scene. The Studebaker will be the next look on the automotive scene. So there's no doubt about it, next year, every car in America will have holes in its side. So command to see if you're buying your next car for keeps. Is your nearby Packard dealer. Longer. No. The 49 Hudson is the car for you! So Volkswagen will constantly be changing, improving, and refining this car. Not necessarily to keep in style with the times, but to make a better car. Which means to all of you, better mileage. Of all the promises made at the 1949 Auto Show, we at Volkswagen kept ours. <laughs> Hi, friends. Ralph Carson here, Carson's Carorama, the largest used car dealer in the entire universe. And here's today's bargains, this 67 model, $790. Here's a big 67, $835 with your good credit. And here's another 67, $1,280. Chick, must be a mistake here. No mistake, Ralph. Unlike most cars on your lot, a Volkswagen doesn't lose its value quite so quickly. You got $72, friends? There's your car. And a year's and supply a year's of supply tuna, fish. tuna fish. And a 40-horsepower outboard motor. And now the biggest now gift, the of, all, gift of all, Rip. On this your day, your day. the fans want you to have, you to have a brand new, brand shiny, new shiny Volkswagen, Volkswagen station wagon. Station wagon. Rip expected to be surprised today, but he didn't expect to be this surprised. He was banking on one of those sleek, snazzy-looking wagons. But what Rip doesn't know is that a Volkswagen can hold about twice as much as a snazzy-looking wagon. In fact, it'll carry off all of his free gifts. Add up, baby, Rip. What do you think the old Volkswagen station wagon now, huh? Don't take Rip's word for it, folks. He got his free. Size one up for yourself. Once upon a time, there was an ugly little bug. It could go about 27 miles on one gallon of gas and about 40,000 miles on one set of tires. It was just right for taking father to the train or the children to school or for taking mother to the grocery store, the drug store and all the enchanting places mothers go when everyone else is working. But alas, it wasn't beautiful. So for any important occasion, the poor, ugly little bug would be replaced by a big, beautiful chariot drawn by 300 horses. Then after a time, a curious thing happened. The big, beautiful chariot didn't get more beautiful, while the ugly little bug didn't get uglier. The moral being, if you want to show you've gotten somewhere, get a big, beautiful chariot. But if you simply want to get somewhere, get a bug. Mr. Jones and Miss Fleur were neighbors. They each had $3,000. With his money, Mr. Jones bought himself a $3,000 car. With his money, Mr. Krempler bought himself a new refrigerator, a new range, a new washer, a new dryer, a record player, two new television sets, and a brand new Volkswagen. And 
And now Mr. Jones is faced with that age-old problem, keeping up with the Kremplers. The Volkswagen Carmen Ghia is the most economical sports car you can buy. It's just not the most powerful. You gonna tell me about the rabbits again, George? No, Barney. You know what we have to do today. Yeah, I remember, George, but I can't drive no Volkswagen. I can't work no gear shift. I can't use no clutch pedal. Barney? If I've told you once now, I've told you a hundred times. This is a new thing Volkswagen has. It's called the automatic stick shift. There ain't no clutch pedal, and there ain't no problems. I don't know, George. I just don't know. Barney, you get in the car. I get in the car. You turn on the key. I turn on the key. You put it in drive. I put it in drive. And you drive away. And I drive away. That's it, Barney. It's as simple as ABC. That's right, George. It's as simple as a... Uh... If you've been away for a while, you probably don't know that there's a new Volkswagen out that doesn't look like a Volkswagen, the new VW Fastback. It's got everything that people who like the bug like, plus a little more room and luggage space, and a little more horsepower and pickup. So if you happen to see a good-looking Volkswagen, don't panic. Mr. and Mrs. Stanley Bittman of Langsburg, Ohio. I can see it in your eyes. You want a small car, but you want more than just a Volkswagen Beetle. You want to move up. Let me be your guide. This revolutionary new car is only three inches longer than a Beetle, yet it has nearly twice the luggage space. But you want more. It has an engine more powerful than a Beetle, yet with the same economy. But you want more. The interior, a knockout. Lush carpeting, flow-through ventilation. Automatic stick shift is available, of course. Ah, you've arrived. The 1971 Super Beetle. Gee, with all those changes, it looks like the old Beetle. The trouble with you, Pittman, is you want too much. We were so excited about the 29 improvements we made on the 1972 Volkswagen, we decided to give the city of New York a sneak preview. So at noon on Friday, September 3rd, we proudly parked our new Super Beetle with all its improvements on Fifth Avenue and 53rd Street in the heart of Manhattan, just to see the crowd's reaction.